Oh, hello there. As most of you know, what you see is a representation of Germany. But what are all these lines on it? Autobahns? No, although you're not that far off. The lines reflect a new network, a system of hydrogen highways Europe's largest economy is creating in its drive to go carbon neutral as soon as possible. To understand it, let's take a look back. In 2020, the German government committed to sustainably produced green hydrogen as a main energy carrier of the future by proclaiming a national hydrogen strategy. It laid the groundwork for this generational project and pledged billions and billions of euros in state support. H2 is going to be particularly key in Germany's efforts to decarbonize energy-intensive sectors like steel, glass and chemicals. Hydrogen, as some put it, is to become the new natural gas. But for that to become reality, Germany needs a network to transport green H2 to all corners of the country. In late 2023, the German government drafted new hydrogen legislation. It set the guidelines for the core network and determined that this infrastructure will be financed by fees paid by users. When all is said and done, the network will stretch some 9,700 kilometers. That's well more than the length of inland waterways. By comparison, the country's autobahns extend for 13,000 kilometers. The new hydrogen highway will use some of Germany's existing natural gas infrastructure. This network will consist by 60% um, of repurposed pipelines. Converting is much cheaper. Uh, it requires only one-fifth of the investment for new build pipelines. And it's, it's quicker because you don't need new permission um, and it's less bureaucratic. The core network lays the foundation for the decarbonization of the economy and our industry and all the other potential sectors. It makes a key contribution to climate-friendly energy supply in Germany. The creation of the hydrogen network and the entire hydrogen economy in Germany will generate lots and lots of business opportunities for international companies. After all, by 2030, the country will be importing 50 to 70 percent of its hydrogen needs. US company Air Products is investing over 1 billion euros in an import terminal in Hamburg. Dutch and Belgian companies such as Gazini and Fluxis are involved in the expansion of the hydrogen core network, which will connect all major consumers and producers in Germany. And Live from France and Volt H2 from the Netherlands have announced investments in electrolysis capacities for the production of green hydrogen. These are first steps. In the next phase, the companies that process green hydrogen, i.e. the H2 consumers, will also find considerable advantages to being located in Germany. Four regions could particularly be described as the green power bank of Germany. The eastern city of Leuna, the Baltic coastal areas around Rostock and Greifswald, Lubmin, and the industrial regions around Schwedt near Germany's Polish border. Cross-border H2 infrastructure with Denmark is also being developed, as is on-site electrolysis capacity. It's a huge investment, a huge investment opportunity for international companies. It's about 20 billion euros and it spans over 9,700 kilometers. So for all companies that produce, transport or use hydrogen, it's great because they can use the network for the supply chain. It's also for all the companies that are willing to export hydrogen, the possibility not only to export to Germany, but also to use this network as a gateway to neighboring European countries. There are many European and German financial incentives available for companies that set up shop in the heart of the EU and help establish a hydrogen highway. Germany Trade and Invest can help you explore the possibilities all at no cost, because we're a government agency. Let's network at gtai.com. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to fill in the rest of the map. It's high time 